Number 10, the faint invisible glow. Your body is softly glowing. Deep inside you, chemical reactions emit ultra-weak photons, creating a light called biophotons. This light is about 1,000 times too weak for the human eyes. Scientists have actually photographed this glow using ultra-sensitive cameras and discovered that it is linked to the internal processes. This light peaks around late afternoon and dims at night. It's a byproduct of your metabolism and cellular processes. As free radicals react with fats and proteins in your cells, they sometimes release light. So really, all living organisms have this faint light glow. And it's another way for us to verify someone is truly dead when this light completely fades. Number nine, your brain runs on electricity and creates it too. Your brain is humming with electric power right now. Neurons fire, synapses spark, and billions of cells are creating electromagnetic pulses simultaneously. This is biological electricity in action, processing information, signaling thought, memory, and consciousness, creating the exact experience you're having right now. Scientists estimate your brain's electrical output at tens of watts, not enough to light up a room, but enough to power a small light bulb. So every idea you have is literally electricity moving through your brain. Every memory is a pattern of electrical and chemical signals. Every moment of awareness is your neurons firing, creating electromagnetic waves that travel through your skull. Your brain isn't just using electricity, it's creating it, generating it, producing the power that generates the experience of being you. Your skull is housing a biological engine that generates electricity, processes information, and somehow creates the experience of being alive. It's doing all this with about 20 watts, which is equivalent to a computer monitor on sleep mode, 20 watts for your brain to think, dream, feel, plan, process, and remember. You're not just thinking with electricity, you're thinking because of electricity. Every thought, every moment of consciousness is electricity moving through your brain. We are pretty much biological, super efficient supercomputers. Number eight, more microbe than human. You're not just one organism, you're a civilization. Inside your gut are trillions of microorganisms consisting of bacteria, archaea, and viruses. And here's the thing, they significantly outnumber your human cells, which is estimated to be roughly 40 trillion for an adult. So if we actually counted every living thing that is you, most of it isn't even technically you. You're walking around thinking you're a singular being, but you're actually a walking collective ecosystem. It's a partnership built through evolution that is so old and integrated that you forgot the boundary even exists. These aren't freeloaders either. Your microbiome handles the digestive work your stomach can't. Breaking down food, fighting off pathogens, and producing vitamins you need it literally keeps you alive. But that's just the baseline because bacteria also influences your mood, your stress response, and your ability to think clearly. Scientists have linked gut microbiome to depression, anxiety, and even cognitive functions. Your bacteria aren't just processing lunch, they're processing your emotional reality and you're dependent on them in ways you never actually think about. When you think about being human, you have to expand that definition. You're not actually one living being, you're a coalition of them, a collaborative collective ecosystem that evolved together and built a lifelong ecological partnership at the cellular level. Number seven, your stomach is constantly rebuilding. Your stomach is trying to digest itself right now. 
and the only way to survive is to rebuild. It's because the acids inside your stomach are so corrosive that without constant protection, they would burn through your own tissue and your stomach lining would consume you from the inside out. So your body runs a continuous operation that rebuilds your stomach lining every few days a complete cellular renovation that renews old and damaged tissue, then it happens again and again for your entire life. You are never the same stomach twice. The lining protecting you right now will be gone in three days, replaced by cells that don't even exist yet. Your body is constantly running an emergency repair operation just to keep you from consuming yourself. It's proof that your body exists in a state of permanent revolution, constantly breaking down, constantly rebuilding, a beautiful complex system that is constantly fighting entropy. This automatic stomach renewal process is proof that survival isn't about being invulnerable. It's about knowing exactly when to let go, destroy what's old, and build something new. Your body has figured out that renewal is the only way to persist. Number six, the second brain in your gut. Your brain isn't just in your head. Yeah, that probably sounds ridiculous, but it's not. Wrapped around your digestive tract is an entire nervous system. Scientists call it the enteric nervous system. When they first mapped it, they were genuinely shocked. Over 200 million neurons, more than your spinal cord. This isn't supporting tissue, this is intelligence, and it's processing, deciding, and signaling all on its own. This second brain has a direct line to your brain through the vagus nerve, a two-way conversation running constantly. But here's the thing, your gut doesn't take orders, it negotiates. When you're nervous before something important and that nauseating feeling you get in your stomach, that's both brains talking to each other in real time, translating stress into sensation. Both your gut and brain registers the threat and then decides how to respond together. You've been thinking your brain is the boss, but your gut's been running parallel operations the entire time. And maybe next time you really should trust your gut feeling. Number five, bones are stronger than steel. Your bones are pound for pound stronger than steel, and it's not close. Most people think of bones as inert scaffolding that are dead weight, but that's wrong. Your bones are living dynamic tissue that is constantly rebuilding, and they're engineered through the brilliance of evolution that steel can't compete with. Bone is a composite made of collagen and minerals, which makes it both flexible and strong. That combination lets you survive impacts that would shatter metal. Steel gets optimized for strength in one direction. Your bones got optimized for life. They bend, absorb, and heal. They adapt by getting stronger exactly where you need them strongest. You're walking around in a structure stronger than metal with the intellectual capacity to rebuild itself, adapts to stress, and manage your mineral reserves. Your bones isn't just supporting you, it's continuously adapting, and it's built to respond, survive, and evolve based on what you demand of it. Number four, you see millions of colors. You see over seven million distinct colors, not shades of a few basic colors, but seven million unique wavelengths that your eyes have been engineered to detect. Your retinas have three types of cone cells, red cones, green cones, blue cones, each tuned to different range of light wavelengths. And together they create a color space so rich that you perceive combinations and subtleties most people never consciously notice. That rosy tint in early morning light, that's not your imagination, that's your retinas picking up specific wavelengths and your brain translating that into an experience only you can have. The bluish green of seafoam, the warmth of golden hour, 
These aren't approximations, they're precise biological translations of physical reality. You're experiencing a private spectrum that's uniquely yours, seven million colors that only you perceive exactly this way. And you probably don't think about it once a day. Number three, over 2.5 billion heartbeats. Your heart will beat more than two and a half billion times in your lifetime. Each beat is a muscular contraction pumping blood through 60,000 miles of blood vessels, reaching every cell in your body, delivering oxygen and removing waste. Every second, millions of cells are staying alive because of that beat. Your heart doesn't stop. It doesn't take breaks. It doesn't ask for permission. It just keeps going. No machine humanity has ever built matches that kind of endurance and reliability. We design engines that fail, wear out, and need maintenance. Your heart just beats. And that heartbeat is really nothing short of a miracle. It's what makes every other experience possible. Every laugh, every moment of connection, every achievement is built on top of this relentless rhythm. 2.5 billion beats. That's the measurement for a well-lived life. Number two, you lose hair every single day. You shed 50 to 100 hairs every single day. And that's completely normal. That's your body doing exactly what it's designed to do. Hairs grow, rest, fall out, and new ones grow back in. Most people treat hair loss like a tragedy, like something's broken but it's the opposite. It's proof your body is working. Hair falling out isn't a flaw. It's the system functioning perfectly. This is your body's way of staying healthy and keeping balance. It's your cyclical biological system refreshing itself. Every hair that falls is proof that renewal is still happening, that you're still building yourself day after day. Number one, your atoms are not the same. Think about the person you were 10 years ago. You probably look and thought differently. You probably had different goals and dreams. It's not that surprising considering almost none of the atoms that made up your body then are still in you right now. Nearly every atom has been replaced. Every time you eat, you absorb building blocks from other things. Every breath, gases exchange. Your skin sheds, your cells die and rebuild. Scientists call it metabolic turnover, and it's a continuous renewal process that is happening to all living organisms. So here's what is really strange in the best way. You are not the same person physically. At a molecular level, you're completely different matter than you were a decade ago, and yet you're still you. Your memories, your personality, your weird sense of humor, all of it is still you. And that's science pointing at something genuinely profound. Your identity isn't about the stuff you're made of. It's about the shape that stuff takes. Who you are isn't determined by your atoms. It's determined by what you do with them. You're proof that the deepest part of you has nothing to do with matter. It has everything to do with continuity and persistence through change. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe to see more.